Hello there, welcome to today's video. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick little upload basically to let you know what's happening next week on Etsy or what's not happening on Etsy next week to be more precise and that's people selling their work. Yep, we're striking. Basically it's in response to Etsy's recent uh, announcement for another price hike. So they're raising their uh, fee by 30%. Also, there's a, a load of other stuff that Etsy sellers just aren't happy with. There is a star seller initiative that's been going on for a little while where basically you have to jump through hoops for Etsy to ensure that they give you priority placements in, uh, in searches basically on Etsy. So if you don't meet those requirements, your search listings will rank way down below. So you'll be lucky if anybody sees your work basically. I know since the beginning of this year, the traffic that I get on Etsy has, uh, has vastly reduced to what it usually uh, was. So I'm in a position where, you know, I have to, to back this strike, basically. I've just finished, actually, an interview with a journalist um, about my experiences. Um, I've just typed up a load of stuff this morning. So while I've got it all in my head really it's uh, I think it's quite useful to do you know a quick little video about it as well uh, or maybe not so quick we'll see how it goes basically so the journalist asked about my thoughts essentially on Etsy and uh, why I'm taking part in the strike and essentially I found Etsy in 2013 when I just started Clay Disarray and I was just looking for, you know, an outlet just to sell my work, just as a, a bit of a side hustle, really. So Etsy revealed itself to me as it was the number one place for artists and makers to sell their work. I found it to be a really inclusive community. It was really easy to create a store and add listings and the prices were pretty reasonable at that point as well. So, you know, it just felt completely like the right thing to do and I really enjoyed being part of Etsy certainly for the first few years it just felt like a little hub really of uh, like-minded creatives all wanting to get you know eyes on their work essentially and then 2015 happens which is when Etsy went public and things changed quite quickly after that in terms of mood on Etsy I'd say um, sellers were just asked to jump through hoops essentially um, for their work to be seen really um, or to show up in in search rankings I know that there was a bit of a debacle uh, maybe around three years ago when Etsy decided that if you wanted your work to come up as a priority placement they call it in uh, US searches that you should be offering free shipping really. So the, um, the consensus was that uh, artists or makers would need to start absorbing that cost into the, the items that they sell. So I kind of weighed up uh, that idea and I quickly ruled it out because although I do sell models to the US markets, what would happen to my UK customers then? You know, if I'm absorbing that whole worldwide shipping cost into the overall price, say, of one of my sculptures or my polymer portraits of a, of a person, when you consider that to send to the US from the UK is considerably higher than sending domestically to inside the UK, and particularly for tracked shipping, which, you know, I always use for orders over sort of £50, there's a huge difference in cost there. So why should the UK customer pay the same as the US customer for shipping? Because that's essentially what Etsy is asking me to do. I morally think it's completely wrong. So I decided not to do that. And since then, I've obviously not been getting priority placements. Um, you know, but that was something I decided to do. It just didn't feel comfortable with me. And Etsy is renowned for having completely terrible customer service. So as a seller, if you've got an issue, it takes them forever to get back to you. And, um, you know, they're, they're not particularly helpful. I had an issue, actually, um, 
was it about a year ago 18 months ago and this is an utterly bizarre story that I'll tell you about one day but um, I'm not comfortable with sharing it right now I think I'd feel more comfortable talking about it even when I closed my Etsy store um, but yeah you'll be like what <laughs> once I tell it to you it's it's really quite bizarre but um yeah they I had some dealings with them over that issue and they were really unhelpful and I was so aggrieved with them that I felt like closing my store there and then but um I had other stuff going on at the time so I, I just didn't have time to do that so since then um I've yeah quite relished the idea of having my own store at some point Sorry, there are kind of roadworks going on today, so apologies for, for background noise. So I think with the recent price hikes again, and um, all the other stuff that, you know, they want us to do, all these hoops that they want us to jump through, it's completely unsustainable. It feels like they're just having an utter laugh now, to be honest. So I'm taking part in the strike. I'd really encourage you also, if you do have an Etsy store, to do the same, because you know, the more voices of dissent they hear, the more likely they are to do something. So my store will be closed next week. And if we don't get an outcome that we want, I will be moving my store. Um, at the moment, I'm considering either Big Cartel or Kofi. And um, incidentally, if you are taking part in the strike and you're worried about not having any sales, I'd maybe set up a little Kofi store or something like that just in the meantime. They have two really cheap options actually. I think you can either pay six dollars for Kofi Gold, where you get like a load of benefits, including a, a shop, or I think you can decide to pay five percent um, of any kind of sales basically, and that goes to Kofi. So there's two options there. Or I'm sure there's other platforms as well. You know, it's really trying to avoid Etsy next week if you can. Also, if you're a buyer, um, I'd really recommend that you contact the artist directly um, if you're interested in buying anything from them to avoid an Etsy sale. And, you know, support artists in any way you can if you're able to. You know, you can always donate to their ko or whatever donation uh, system they may have set up. Um, or their Patreon, you know, something like that, basically. So what I'm going to do is to link below to the Etsy strike petition. And um, I'd appreciate it if you could, uh, yeah, just fill that out. And uh, there's all sorts of reasons in there as to why this strike's happening. You know, there's only so much information I can give you. And I'm, you know, trying to think off the top of my head at the moment. So yeah, sign that if you can. And if you have an Etsy store, please consider closing for the week. You know, I know it's difficult, but um, hopefully this is for the greater good, really. And uh, yeah, as I say, I'm going to be looking at different options for the future of Clay Disarray's store. I'm really interested to add uh, merch that have digital illustrations on them, as you will have seen in my last video for the... Um, yeah, new logo, etc. So it'd be really nice to have a new store set up with a whole new energy um, at some point. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens with Etsy really. So I hope we all get the outcome that we want. Um, I'm not hugely hopeful, I have to say. But yeah, we'll see. And also, if my um, stuff's included in the interview that I spoke about earlier, I'll link to that down below as well. So yeah, fingers crossed that you know, that'll be in there. And I think that's it for today. There is an awful lot of information to share, basically. So I've probably not included all that I've wanted to talk about um, because, you know, I've not helpfully not taken any notes, etc. So um, if I think of anything else, I'll add that down below. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I make weekly vlogs about my work. So if you're interested in polymer clay, by all means, go and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I shall see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.